Is Fidel Castro Justin Trudeau's father? Justin Trudeau certainly acting like a fascistic dictator in Canada these days. Is it because it's in his blood? Is it woven into Justin Trudeau's DNA? Well, in this episode of The Betty Show, we explore exactly why people say that Castro is Justin Trudeau's father. Could there possibly be any truth to that rumor? We will detail today exactly why people say this and what we know. It is absolutely a fascinating story. Hold on to your poutine and Cuban cigars. Here we go. So for many, many years, Justin Trudeau has had a rumor swirling about him. Now, this rumor is something that memes are made of. People laugh at it. There are many photo comparisons of Justin Trudeau and Fidel Castro all over the internet. And I got to tell you, they actually look kind of alike. But there's a lot of people who look alike in the world. And there's a lot of old photographs that can be manipulated or put side by side. And what do you get, right? There is no conclusive proof that Fidel Castro is Justin Trudeau's father. But there is some extremely interesting evidence as to why people say that. And I believe, quite frankly, the cases that have been made to try and prove that it isn't the case are utterly inconclusive. Let's just call it what it is. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. Justin Trudeau's father and mother Who are they? For those of you who are not professional historians of the Canadian political landscape, Justin Trudeau's father, Pierre Trudeau, was a very famous politician. He was the prime minister of Canada for a stint. He was a dude that a lot of people know. Justin Trudeau is from a famous family. Justin Trudeau's mother is named Margaret Trudeau. Margaret Trudeau was younger than Justin Trudeau's father, By a span of approximately 30 years, Justin Trudeau's father was in his 50s when they got married and she was in her 20s, 53 and 23 to be exact. They met when she was only 18, making Justin Trudeau's father 48, 48 years old and flirting with an 18 year old. So what do we know about Margaret Trudeau and Pierre Trudeau? Margaret Trudeau and Pierre Trudeau were swingers. Let's call it what it is. You can go back into the Getty archives in photographs and find some pretty interesting photos of Margaret Trudeau. She was a playgirl hanging out at Studio 54, hanging out with famous American actors, the entire Rolling Stones, photos of her with Mick Jagger and a scantily clad at various high-functioning galas. There is actually a incredibly documented scandal of her having an affair with Ted Kennedy. So let's just say Margaret Trudeau was a party girl. She's someone who liked power. She liked politicians. She liked men in positions of power. She liked older men. According to Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones, Pierre broke up with her while she was having an affair with Ronnie Wood. That's right. These are just stories from the time. Pierre Trudeau, he slept around too with a lot of people. The actress from Superman, Margot Kidder, and classical guitarist Liana Boyd, actress Kim Cattrall, and... Interestingly enough, Barbara Streisand. That's right. The evidence is overwhelming that he slept with Barbara Streisand, according to biographer John English. So let's just say that the two of them, it is fair to say, had an open marriage. They were swinging, ladies and gentlemen. And so we get to our next evidentiary point in whether Fidel Castro is Justin Trudeau's father. 
The two of them were indeed communists. M Margaret Trudeau and Pierre Trudeau were Marxists. They liked Marxism. And they were naturally attracted to the only Marxist nation in the Western Hemisphere, Cuba. They had a lot of nice things to say about Fidel Castro. And they actually met Fidel Castro on many an occasion. So how exactly would Fidel Castro become the father of Justin Trudeau? Well, quite frankly, biology is going to lend itself to this part of the story. You see, Justin Trudeau was born on Christmas Day, 1971. So Justin Trudeau must have been, I know, tough to say, I'm a dad myself, but ladies and gentlemen, you got clocks. You can pretty much figure out when people were conceived based on the date they were born. Between March and April of 1971 was when Justin Trudeau must have been conceived. So, be pretty easy to point out exactly where they were in the world and say this is possible or not possible. It's not really easy for a Marxist dictator to move around. People know where F Fidel Castro was and people know where famous Canadian politicians were. And in fact, where they were was on their second honeymoon. The Trudeaus were in the Caribbean at that exact time period. Now, where were they? Were they in Cuba? No. They were in another island called Barbados. That's right. According to media reports at the time, in 1971, the Trudeaus took a second honeymoon to the Caribbean, to Barbados, and an unidentified nearby island, then Tobago, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines. Pierre was taking side trips to Trinidad while Margaret stayed in Tobago. Okay, so case closed, right? Not according to an interesting article here on Medium by Karen Leibowitz. Karen Leibowitz, don't know much about her. She says she has a PhD and she's written an article that says, of course Fidel Castro is Justin Trudeau's dad. Nobody has debunked anything. What Karen Leibowitz points out in her article is that the Ottawa Journal says that they kept one of the islands they visited a secret. Where did they go? Where did the Trudeaus go? We don't know. It could have been a honeymoon hammock in St. Bart's. But that's a little strange. Why would they stop the media from following them to one island? Who knows? I don't. But I certainly do know politics. It's what I've done for my entire career. And I do know the atmosphere at the time in 1971 was that if you were in charge of a westernized, civilized nation that was not inside the influence of the Soviet Union, as Cuba was, and if you had just gone through the Cuban Missile Crisis, which happened in the mid-60s, where the Soviets put nuclear-tipped missiles inside of Cuba, you probably wouldn't want to tell people you were going to Cuba. In fact, if you were going to Cuba, you would want to make sure people didn't know and that people respected your privacy. It wouldn't be a good look for somebody in Pierre Trudeau's position to go to Cuba, period. So that is what... Karen Leibowitz, in her article, hangs her hat on, saying that within the time frame of Justin Trudeau's conception, his parents were in the Caribbean. They were within striking distance of Cuba, and they were not being forthright with the press as to exactly where they were going. His parents were swingers, and eight and a half months later, after their Caribbean trip, Justin Trudeau is born. Now, that seems a little sketchy. It does indeed seem like you'd have to have a lot of stars aligning there. But the evidence continues. In 1976, Pierre eagerly became the first NATO leader to travel to Cuba. He brought his wife, and that was odd. 
before leaving the tarmac the Trudeaus were shown an unusual amount of familiarity with Fidel Castro, considering he was a national leader that they just met. Within hours of their official meeting, Margaret was photographed intimately touching and holding Fidel Castro in both arms. The Trudeaus announced that they had become besties with the dictator and sang his praises in spite of his human rights allegations. Due to his age and lack of children, rumors began to spread that Pierre was infertile and that perhaps Castro was the biological father of his children. This was back in the day. Those rumors persist to this day, and in fact, those rumors were knocked down by the Canadian government in a release in 2018. The Canadian government stated that it would be impossible for Fidel Castro to be the father of Justin Trudeau in 2018. The government said that based on official travel records for Pierre Trudeau, that Pierre Trudeau, the swinger and father of Justin Trudeau, was not in Cuba. But that is based on the Canadian government's official travel records of Pierre Trudeau and not based on his private travel to the islands in 1971 for his honeymoon. That's the basis. The basis is that his official travel doesn't show him going to Cuba till 1976. Okay, that's fine, but that's not proof. As many would say, that is not proof. However, what is peculiar is that the Canadian government felt so threatened by such a rumor that they had to deny it. Why would they deny an urban legend or something that is comically untrue? Federal governments don't come out and comment on these things. There are no UFOs. Like, they don't do that. Consider the arguments on the behalf of those who say that Fidel Castro is Justin Trudeau's father. You just have to debunk them. There are tons of fact checks out there saying this isn't true. The AP has one. Snopes has one. That's fine. We want to bring your attention to them. The issue with these fact checks is that they all rely on the Canadian government's statement. All the debunkers say that the federal government of Canada says that the Trudeaus didn't officially travel to Cuba until 1976. They never talk about that honeymoon trip to the Caribbean. They never discuss it at all. They don't even look into it. They just close the book and move along. Well, that doesn't seem right. You can find the old news articles from the time. I'm looking at the Ottawa Journal right now. April 13th of 1971. Bridgetown, Barbados, it says. Prime Minister Trudeau and his wife left here Monday by chartered plane on a quick side trip to an unidentified nearby island. It happened. It's in the reports. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the evidence that this writer hangs their hat on to say that there is something to this. In the coming years, the Trudeaus would be incredibly kind to the Castros. Fidel Castro actually attended Margaret Trudeau's funeral in Canada and was met by Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau, for his part as prime minister, was the only prime minister to eulogize Castro, a man who has a numerous record with human rights abuses, concentration camps, grotesque uh, 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 persecution of his political others. He was a monster to every protected community of the left. Fidel Castro was a monster to black Cubans, to gay Cubans, to patriot Cubans. And trust me, we've gone to Cuba in a documentary and we've shown it. I've seen it with my own two eyes. There is nothing redeeming about what Fidel Castro did in Cuba and Justin Trudeau, even if this conspiracy theory or this rumor is simply that, a funny rumor that people laugh at on the internet, Justin Trudeau is a scumbag for praising Fidel Castro upon his death. A weak fool 
There were rumors that Fidel Castro, who has many dozens of illegitimate children, he had a sexual appetite of many dictators. Fidel Castro is said to have sex with two different women each day brought into his chambers. We don't know if that's true, but he did have many illegitimate children. That is verifiable. One of his illegitimate sons committed suicide. And there was a story that his suicide note claimed Justin Trudeau is his half-brother. We find no evidence of that existing. As much as it would be an interesting and compelling argument, nothing other than speculation exists online for any evidence of that. So I suppose, in conclusion, the reality is this. What are the rumors made of? The rumors are pretty simple. Justin Trudeau, who bears a shocking resemblance to Fidel Castro, his mother and father were famous swingers. His father, it was rumored, was infertile. They were huge fans of the Marxist Fidel Castro. They went to the Caribbean for their honeymoon, and they went to undisclosed locations. Is there something to that? What is the most compelling evidence of their relationship? Is it genetic? I have no idea. However, in practice, I must say, watching Canada descend into a fascistic third world tyranny tin pot state with the trucker convoy and with Trudeau ruling like a dictator, at the very least, Justin Trudeau has modeled himself after Fidel Castro. Is it genetic? You decide. But is it the spirit of Castro living on in Justin Trudeau? Ladies and gentlemen, we say conclusively fact check true. Thank you for watching. We are 100% independent news. Are you sick of being lied to? We certainly are. That's why we started this channel. But we can't do it without you. We can't keep going without your help. All we ask is that you click like and subscribe and share this video. It's free and it keeps us going. It keeps us growing. It keeps us getting the truth out there to break the rotted corporate media infrastructure that wants to lie to you every single day, wants to corrupt your narratives, your truth, your story, and your very society. So support us by clicking like, clicking subscribe, and thank you, patriots.